It's the only way I can get from under Duda. You gonna let me take care of it. I gotta do to make that happen. Mom, you're not killing nobody. You don't know my mama. She make Duda look like a saint. Welcome back, Top Notch Gang. Here we are with another prediction and preview for episode eight of season six of The Shy. And this episode is guaranteed to be a fucking banger. First off, the episode name is Who Shot You? So we know some shit is gonna go down. And also with mid-season finales with any show in general, it usually is a banger, especially if they're gonna take a break before they come back. I think a lot of shit is about to pop off and go down within this episode. So within this video, we're going to be diving into the little preview trailer they put out for the episode. Talk about the scenes, what I believe is going to happen. And if you see the thumbnail, then yes, I believe Nook will die within this episode. Now, I'm going to talk about that within this video. And I know a lot of people think it could it possibly be Duda. And we'll talk about why I think it won't be Duda. But to just get ahead of it, I think it won't be Duda because he's the main antagonist of the of the entire show if he was to get killed off in the middle of the season when there's like eight episodes left to finish what were what will be going on will be the conflicts the problems and everything like he kind of is causing all the chaos so i don't think it will be duda and a lot of people say he probably could get shot but survive and then come back with a vengeance but they already did that already he already some shit like that already happened where he got hurt went to the hospital survive shit like that so i don't think they're gonna do it again we also have to dive into rob and of course emma's dad within this episode as we've seen this entire season rob has been tasked with the mission of from his mom of course she loaned him a hundred k to find out who killed her brother q his uncle and he's been looking from this whole season of course it was revealed the last episode or the last the one before that actually it was episode six i believe that Vic told him it was Duda who killed Q and he wasn't in episode 7 at all so now we saw in the trailer he's back in this episode so of course we gotta dive into Rob and last but not least of course like I say Emmett's dad he said within this uh he said within this that he's gonna take care of it for Emmett and there's a quick scene where someone cocks back a gun and I think this is clearly him within this scene doesn't mean anything is necessarily gonna happen with him but it looks like he is on a mission as well once again this episode is called who shot you some shit is definitely about to go down but i think nook our boy nook is on the chopping block and we're gonna dive into all the details that i believe why so once again this is a preview for episode eight the mid scenes finale i also want you guys to let me know down below in the comment section if they're taking a break or will they be a new episode next week i don't, i really don't know i don't want to be waiting for next week and don't get a fucking episode so let me know that down below in the comments but once again let's jump into the preview for episode eight of season six of the shy who shot you and we're gonna dive into all the details from the preview trailer leave a like comment subscribe and let's go ahead and get right into it now let's start with rob i hopefully think he is gonna be an impactful character within this episode seeing he wasn't in episode seven at all him or tiff so let's just start back from the beginning and run everything rob and tiff of course were working for duda after duda killed q and back then rob even asked nook what happened to q who killed him and Nook kind of told him don't worry about it but as shit went on they met someone else and they wanted to start their own business they wanted to get from under duda so tiff told him to go back ask his mom for the money so they could start their own shit and his mom said she would give him a hundred k but she wants him to find out who killed Q, his uncle, and then she also wants him to take that person out. So we have been seeing him for the majority of the season looking for answers to what happened to Q. We saw when Emmett had his housewarming party. He, of course, asked Nook once again, and Nook kind of shut him down, said Q had a lot of enemies, shit like that. But then he asked him, was Duda one of those enemies? And Nook, once again, didn't answer, held it down, kept it solid. So 
he kind of already had this inkling that it was Duda who took him out. Later on, in the next episode, I believe, he went and asked Vic. They went to city council or went to Vic's office to ask him to get a permit so they could start selling their own product and weed and shit and get from under Duda. He couldn't do it, but then he asked Tiff to stuff out the room, and then he asked Vic once again, does he know what happened to Q? And Vic lied to him within this scene, told him he don't know, once again told him, Q had a lot of enemies, shit like that, and he kept it solid this time as well. But then Vic, he's kind of, there's a lot of inkling and things of the FBI snooping around into that murder. And of course, Vic is an accomplice. He helped get rid of the body and shit like that. And he wanted to do the right thing. So he did have a talk with the pastor, Pastor Jackson, before he died. And they both came to the agreement that the pastor is helping within the church vic is helping within city council and they have a common enemy which is of course duda and i think it was within this episode that vic finally decided to tell rob the truth told him that yes it was duda who killed q how he just got back in the car he didn't do anything i don't think he told him he was the one who got rid of the body but he basically admitted he knew about it and it was duda who did it and rob said within this scene you know what's gonna happen now you know what has to happen shit like that but once again, we didn't see Rob in episode seven after that, but now he is back. What's important about all this is within this episode eight preview and trailer, Rob says the specific line where Tiff tells him he shouldn't or doesn't have to kill anyone. And he says his mom is worse than Duda. She makes Duda look like a saint. Now this could play a big key role and factor within this episode and the rest of the season because his mom could turn out to be the new villain if it is Duda who dies within this episode like you all say. Once again, I don't think it'll be him. It's kind of still too early on in the season, but I think his mom could play a big part and key factor within the remainder of the season if she's gunning for Duda. If Rob tells her that he doesn't want to kill them, shit like that. She might, we see in the fucking trailer, a car doing a little drive-by, spinning by on Duda and Nook. I think that will be the scene. We'll talk about that later when we get into Nook's death. But it might be her who send those hitters as it look like we can't really recognize no one within that car. But she's going to play a key important factor. So I don't think Rob will call his way to kill Duda, even though he has all this information now. I think he would take this information back to his mom. He might give her half her money back, something like that. But I think he would decide not to go through with it. I just thought it was interesting how he said she makes Duda look like a saint. So I want to see the big important key factor his mom plays in the remainder of the season. But how do you guys think Rob will respond to this, finding out Duda is the the one who killed Q do you think he'll take him out do you think he'll just go back to his mom with the information let me know down below in the comments now moving on to Emmett and his dad now a lot of people think or believe that Emmett should be the one to pull the trigger on Duda now getting back into how Emmett came into the whole fold I believe at the end of season five Duda was in his restaurant told him he wanted to help him out shit like that kind of invest in him and Emmett decided to go along with it and now he's kind of wrapped up in this tornado of Duda making him do fucked up shit and he's been trying this whole season to get from under Duda kind of trying to stray away from him but he's too deep in and of course his dad within a lot of the episodes have been trying to save Emmett from himself of course when Duda gave him the gun his dad when it took the gun out the room took it back hid it from him but when Emmett did come and ask for the gun the dad did give it to him so he's kind of been looking out for him but still trying to let him be his own man so he gave Emmett the gun and Emmett went and approached Duda so Emmett Pulled the gun on Duda. We obviously know he didn't shoot the shit. And Duda knocked him upside his head. And Duda told him if he ever tried anything like that again, he'll kill him. Emmett told him something important within that scene. He can't kill him. The city loves him. He's too important. And he told Duda, the city fuck with me. They just work for you. And I think that's a funny and important line. Because it made Emmett seem almost invincible. Duda didn't say anything back. He really couldn't respond. I just think... It's because it's the truth. He can't just kill Emmett. Like, everybody gonna be on his ass. He already killed the pastor and is on thin fucking ice. So, I don't think he could kill Emmett. Now, within 
the, these last two episodes after Pastor Jackson's death, we saw Emmett and his dad talking in episode seven, and he said he'll just pay due to back, and he's out, he's done with it, and his dad asked how much it'll cost. He said a lot of fucking money. I'm actually recording and mentioning this part after because I forgot to mention it in a video, but we see in the trailer a small clip of Emmett's dad approaching dude with a bag. So I think, of course, in this scene, he's attempting to pay him the money and everything. But I'm gonna dive into, of course, uh, the dude. There's another clip of a dude cocking a gun. We'll get back to the video and dive into that. But this scene of Emmett's dad paying him the money is gonna be very important because will Duda decide to let Emmett go, let him scot-free for all this because Duda doesn't really seem like that person. And we also know that Emmett's dad already approached Duda once before with a gun and threatened him. So Duda is probably not gonna take too kindly for this. He's probably gonna say that's not enough money for one because where did his dad get all this money first of all? But then he already has a problem with Emmett dad because he approached him with a gun once before. So I wanted to point that out because I almost forgot to mention that, but there's a small scene of Emmett's dad approaching Duda with the money. But now in this preview trailer going into episode eight, we see his dad say he is gonna handle it. And once again, we see a scene where someone is cocking a dump. And once again, we see a scene where someone is cocking back a gun, getting ready to go out. Well, we had a lot of that within this episode. It's gonna be a lot of people doing that. But one specific scene looks like it could be his dad. And I think this could play a key important factor on what happens, what, who dies within this episode. Once again, I think someone is gonna die. I already mentioned it earlier. We're gonna get into that next. But I'm interested to see how this all plays out with Emin and his dad. Like, what does he do? He said he's gonna handle it, but how does he do that? Is he's gonna attempt to take out Duda, Nook, anything like that? And will Emmett be involved in any way, shape, or form? Cause currently it looks like his dad wants him to stay out of it. Emmett, he's kinda on a fucking clock. As we seen within the last episode, Keisha went behind his back when it talked to Nook and he did not like that shit at all. Him and Keisha have been fighting this entire season about him working for Duda, hiding money for Duda, bringing a gun into the house, all types of shit. And they're kind of at a boiling point. They've literally been fighting the entire fucking season. So now I think he's, like I said, on a fucking time clock. So he needs to get shit done as fast as possible dude has to go so he can fix his relationship and once again she went behind his back talked to nook tried to get nook to kind of protect him she told nook looking out for her he has to look out for Emmett too but nook like he was kind of talking his shit because keisha didn't tell Emmett that she was gonna go talk to him he also told her within episode seven that if she goes back and talks to nook again then that relationship is done kind of giving her an ultimatum and that's another strong reason the Keisha connection that I believe Nook is gonna die, but we'll jump into that later. Once again, I do think Eminem and his dad will play key important roles and factors within this episode. Once again, it's called Who Shot Ya? And his dad did say he will handle it. You guys let me know how you think these two characters will play within this episode. Once again, Who Shot Ya? Let me know down below in the comments, but let's move on. Now, probably what you guys have all been waiting for, Nook and his dad. Why do I believe it's Nook that will die within this episode? Once again, it's called Who Shot You? And I believe it will be Nook who got shot. So let's talk about it. First off, everyone seemingly is gunning for Duda within this episode. We, of course, see Emmett's dad tell him he'll handle it. We, of course, see Rob and his mom wants to take him out for the whole Q situation. And that's why I mentioned those two situations prior because everything's leading up to this. We also know, or well, everyone kind of has the feeling that Duda had something to do with Pastor Jackson's dad. We of course see Bakari approach Nook in the last episode. He Nook kind of admits within this scene that he did it or knew about it, had something to do with it. I don't want to say he admitted he did it. He kind of did, but he knew about this shit. So I think somewhere along the way, Nook will be caught in the crossfire of all these people aiming for and gunning at dude. I just think it's inevitable at this point. We see within the trailer, once again, dude kind of 
hack up or fucking yoke up fucking Zay against the wall and Nook is just right there watching and Zay he's kind of hot headed and temperamental I think he'll be gunning for Duda now as well he likes to do shit his own fucking way we we even saw within episode 7 he says some shit about how he's gonna learn how to play the game himself like like they was doing the whole chess analogy shit that they do within every fucking show and he said he was gonna learn how to play himself so we see that whole scene take place and then we see nook and do it a look off kind of into the distance and then they cut to the little scene of the car pulling up the little drive-by scene now these two scenes might not correlate that could just be a good job of them doing the trailer shit right making us anticipate all this but once again they have pretty much did the story straightforward as fuck. Think about it. The whole season was kind of leading up to Pastor Jackson's death. And I'm like, hey, this might be a fake out. They could be killing Papa, Bakari, Rashad. They could be killing someone else. This could be a whole fake out. But no, it was kind of just obvious and then I'll freeze the whole time. And I thought it wouldn't be that obvious, but this scene could just be leading up to that drive by now once again we don't know who these people are within the car it could be zay it could be fucking some people that rob's mom sent anything like that we don't know all we know is they are gunning for dude and once again i think nook will be ca caught up in the crossfire and i think it makes the most sense because once again he already has animosity with emmett as well as bakari because him and keisha are getting close again keisha went and talked to him behind Emmett's back they got into that whole shit and he had a key factor in Pastor Jackson's death I also think killing him now instead of Duda kind of incites a war even more so maybe with fucking Duda he might completely just snap and fucking go off if someone almost takes him out he might even become paranoid of who could have possibly done the shit and I think that will play out greatly in the next eight episodes have us something to look forward to dude or trying to find out who attempted to take him out him going on like almost a rampage more than he already have been for these past few seasons i think nook is a key component and debt that can make that happen also to see how it impacts characters like keisha and bakari that whole situation and once again i think it makes the most sense that he's the big debt the mid-season finale because it still has a lot of impact especially if once again he has something to do with pastor jackson's debt you guys let me know what you think about this theory uh, once again i just think he gets caught up in the crossfire always being next to duda around duda of course he lied to rob about what happened lied to bakari told him you don't go after family and then they take out pastor jackson went behind him his back and went and talked to Keisha so he has a lot going on a lot on his plate and he's it's just kind of a fucking consequence of him being so close to Duda and once again we see within the scene where he hacks up Zay Duda that is that Nook is right there doesn't really do anything and then they're wearing the same fits and we see them look off into the distance and a little drive-by might be swinging through and once again these scenes may not correlate but so far the season has been pretty much straightforward so i'm open to see what takes place do you guys think it will be nook let me know down below in the comments who do you think in general will be that dead and once again let me know how you think rob plays his hand do you think he tells his mom what happens do you think he goes out and kills dude on his own let me know how the emin and his dad situation play out how does his dad handle the whole shit let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section i think this could be possibly the best episode of the entire season and it needs to be with it being a mid-season finale it can't be weak it needs to be a banger to have viewers coming back from the break if they're going on break coming back anticipating episodes 9 10 all the way to 16 and currently episode 6 of course has been the best episode the graduation the pastor's death everything like that so this episode needs to top that and go out with a bang you guys let me know how you feel down below in the comments once again leave a like subscribe and i'm out